What's going on everybody, Tribbles in here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Ranch. Today we have another 10 bottles of whiskey that will be coming soon. So we have TTB photos, we have actual pictures of the bottle. There has already been a an pre-order of one of these bottles, so we got a lot to get into. We have some heavy hitters on this list, and then I sprinkled in some some more interesting things that I'm kind of looking forward to and help you keep an eye out for what's coming. So let's get into this. We have 10 bottles to talk about and we're gonna come out of the gate swinging Maker's Mark Wood Finishing Series for 2024. This is the next chapter of the Wood Finishing Series, okay? We didn't know what it was gonna be. They did this whole spiel about how we're ending Chapter one and chapter two is this, and then we get this photo, and there's a lot of words on it that don't say a lot. <laughs> Maker's Mark is great at telling us all of these things without telling us anything. There was so much speculation into this. I was speculating, you know, it's gonna be different age, blah, 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 and then what we get is this, and I pull it up over here so I can read what they have to say. For this second chapter of our limited release wood finishing series, we pursue unique taste visions inspired by the teams who craft our handmade bourbon in Loretto, Kentucky. The makers of our makers, if you will, in this 2024 release known as the Heart Release, we have crafted a one-of-a-kind expression that celebrates our team that distills our whiskey. This team is the center, the heart, if you will, of our whiskey making process. This stage in the process ser serves to guide all other stages, ensuring our taste vision is realized fruit forward with caramel, maple, and chocolate notes. This expression features a rich, creamy mouthfeel that is a pure delight. We hope you enjoy this one as much as we enjoyed making it. All of that really didn't tell me anything about what is different. Finished with 10 virgin oak staves. Is that not what wood finishing series was? <laughs> you know? So I don't know. There's This is volume one of five called the heart release. So there's going to be other ones. The heart release, I bet there, the mind release, the soul release. I don't know. Stave profile, a blend of toasted American and French oak staves. You know, we'll see. It's going to be interesting to see how this compares to, you know, chapter one. You know, I feel like they just revamped this label and it's probably gonna go into their regular bottle or something. I don't know. Bottled February 2024, so I'm guessing that's when it's slotted to come out, so. Maker's Wood Finishing Series. We'll see how it is. It's all we can do. Moving on, next bottle, Yellowstone. I, I always love putting the Yellowstone on here because I feel like they're really not, people don't talk about them that often. I think really outside of the limited releases they do and they really didn't have that many core offerings but they keep coming out with all of these different cask finish stuff. So love it, love to see it because a lot of the, the limited release stuff, that's always finished. So to put out some finished stuff, lower proof, maybe a little easier to come by, maybe it's a distillery only thing, I don't know. At least they have some other products, really cool. So this one's a rum cask, Kentucky Straight Bourbon finished in rum, 100 proof. Love it, I love Yellowstone. I love their brand, I love that they save national parks. Love it. All right, let's move on. Keep things rolling. We got a lot of whiskey to talk about. Bomb Burgers. Bomb Burgers. This is a bottle I don't really know a lot about Bomb Burgers because, you know, I don't know how prevalent it is everywhere, but around here, it's in the raffle. You go, you, you do not go into the store and find this. It's always reserved for the raffle. So I don't know. But this one seems pretty interesting. Finished. This is the Bomb Burgers Declaration 2024 in a Colt barrel finish. I had to look up what a Colt barrel was and really couldn't find a whole lot. <laughs> like, 
there was not a lot of information on that other than something I found about the release of this bottle because the Colt barrel represents the pinnacle of the French coopering craft. It's ultra fine grain profile has been sought after for years by wineries aging some of the world's finest wines. To finish our exceptional whiskey, we place fully matured small batch bourbon into a Colt barrel whose staves have been naturally air dried and seasoned for 40 months before being toasted and charred to our proprietary specifications. The result is an elegant, rich, and complex bourbon. So, cold barrel is some fancy wine. That's that's what I'm gathered from this. So if you're a Bomb Burgers fan, if you like getting these declarations, because I know they have other releases of the declaration, this sounds like a, an interesting to get. All right, moving on. I know a lot of you will be excited about this one because it's all of the craze lately. 13th Colony. I feel like the 13th Colony brand has really just spiked recently. I think just a lot of hype came behind it. A lot of people are liking it, loving it, talking about it. They're dropping a 15th anniversary cask strength bourbon. Very exciting. And there is no batch, no bottle number on here, but there is a proof. You know, a lot of times some of these TTB photos, it's just placeholder stuff. Um, but 69.6% alcohol cast rate. That would be awesome. And almost has met 13th Colony bourbon. Pretty exciting. Maybe, maybe it will be. Maybe it will be that proof, and that's why they put it on here to get you hyped up for it. So another 13th Colony release. Again, I bet you it's gonna be great. They have been absolutely crushing the game lately. So Keep her moving, keep her moving. We got a lot more. Bam, old overhold. The next three bottles, we got three ryes. Throwing rye on here too. And we're starting with two bottles that I think, very interesting that they're, that they're on this list around the same time. And we'll get to that. First one is old overhold cask strength rye whiskey. I think Old Overholt is kind of a sleeper bottle. I don't think a lot of people talk about it. It's like, if you know, you know, you know, you, if you've had it, you know. Old Overholt is a Jim Bream, a Jim Bream, <laughs> Jim Beam rye. And it's interesting that this is coming out because Jim Beam is also releasing Knob Creek straight rye aged 10 years. So Knob Creek dropping two aged rye products. Very interesting. Now these Knob Creek ryes, they've been around, but it's like, I, you know, I think it's one of those things where it used to have an age statement, then they dropped the age statement or lower the age statement. And now they, they're bringing back a 10 year old age statement on this. So all of the other Knob Creek ryes I've had, Fantastic. It would be really cool if they do barrel picks of, of this 10 year Knob Creek. That'll be fantastic. Uh, just gonna be exciting to see or curious to see how these are. Jim Beam dropping two similar age dated rice in 2024, it appears. So stay tuned for both of those. And then let's move on to the last rye on here. Toasted. Barrel Peerless Rye Whiskey, 100 proof. Now, I know people love the Peerless. Peerless, really good stuff. The thing is, I don't think I'm the biggest toasted barrel lover. I feel like it start, it, it, it turns it into just something weird. I almost get like a, a plasticky rubber note on toasted products, and that's just me. I just, not really, not really my jam, it seems. I, a lot of times I'll try it and then I'm like, nah, nope, don't. You know, it's more for you, more for you. But Peerless puts out really good stuff, so it'll be interesting to see their take on Toasted. Toasted Barrel, again, is another thing that's just everyone seems to be doing it now. So I bet you will just see more and more people coming out with their version of Toasted Barrel, whatever. So here's Peerlessus coming out. Moving on, next bottle. 
cream of Kentucky. 16 years old. This is just weird looking to me, man. I, <laughs> I don't know. Cream of Kentucky. I feel like they've had, they were kind of hit or miss. I feel like they've had some really exceptional releases. And then I feel like they've had, I forgot which release it was. I think it, it pretty much flopped. I think a lot of people were like, this is not it. This is, this is a no go. It's too much for what it is. Uh, but they're coming out with this 16 year old Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. I don't know where they get their stuff from. Jim Beam, Heaven Hill, wh whoever. But it's a 16 year old Kentucky bourbon. You know, I'm excited for that. 50, what is that? 58% alcohol. The label to me, though, is just a little weird. <laughs> you know, the hearts, and I don't know, it just seems. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think about this? Are you excited for it? What do you think about the other cream of Kentucky? That's what I really want to know. And based on those, are you excited for this one? So leave a comment down below. Now, all right, we moved on. We're trying to get through this. We saved two heavy hitters for last and they're both from Wild Turkey. Oh yeah, first up, the first one is a bottle called Wild Turkey Generations. There is the picture of the bottle. It looks like it's in one of the Master's Keep bottles. This bottle, you could have bought this on the Wild Turkey website, okay? And I, I was over here checking to see if you can still buy it. I entered in my address, it says we don't ship to you, so I didn't buy one. I entered in an address, just a random address in Kentucky, they would have shipped it to me and it was like $450. This bottle, the price tag on it, 450 bucks. You could buy this on the website type of thing. I don't know how I feel about that. Again, these people are getting crazy with their MSRP prices. It's like they, they just keep feeding this fire of, let's see how far we can go with this. And people are doing it. So as long as people do it, they're gonna keep doing it. But anyway, this, it, it's cool. It's uh, the first time Jimmy, Eddie, and Bruce Russell have collaborated on a single whiskey. The result is a combination of nine, 12, 14, and 15 year old bourbons. 120.8 proof. Very interesting. I bet you it's delicious. And again, I couldn't get one and I won't be getting <laughs> So, what do you guys think about it? What do you think of the price tag, MSRB tag from Wild Turkey? And in a way, it kind of makes sense because I feel like they're combating what inevitably will happen for the next bottle. Russell's Reserve, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 15 years old. We've had the Russell's 13, now we got Russell's 15. Non-chill filtered, 117.2 proof. The 2024 limited release. I'm sure this bottle will be coming out also at a very steep price tag, I'd imagine. It's not going to be a cheap bottle on its own if you have the chance of finding and getting one. I could never even get a Russell's 13. There's no way I'll be getting one of these. Very, people are gonna lose their minds over this because it's gonna, I, it's gonna be delicious. We just gotta face the facts. You though, will then see these bottles for sale on the secondary. Look at the Russell's 13, what it, it fetches a pretty penny. This will be just that magnified. So it's hard to be excited for this because I, I couldn't even get the Russell's 13. I really feel like I won't get this one. I know a lot of people out there have been getting, they can get multiples of each release of the Russell's 13 somehow. I bet you they excited because they got a guy and the guy gonna get them one of this too. So I'll be interested to hear um, how good this is and have serious FOMO and then try it off of one of my friends, you know? So there we have it, 10. Upcoming whiskeys, 
Leave a comment down below what you think of all of these. Which one are you the most excited for? Which one do you think is overhyped? Overpriced? What do you think? Leave your thoughts down below. Uh, remember to like, subscribe if you are new here. Check out the Bourbon Ranch Patreon page to support me more. And until next time, I'm Trev Wilson. I will see you guys in the next video.